Am I still mining? Yes. No, that's not already it. Let's talk about it. Yes, this have been rough times for miners compared to 2021. As many of you, I had to consolidate. That means taking a good look at which rig is efficient and which is not. Let me know how it is where you are, but I got to say honestly Austria, the country where I am, is pretty screwed because of the current, say, world situation. <laughs> you just have to take a look where we import our gas from and you know why that is the case. That means in practice my electricity bill is between double and triple as expensive now as it was before the conflict, with further increases expected. A funny anecdote here, my energy supplier actually went bankrupt without notifying anyone and besides wondering how that is possible in the first place, I got a big big scare being notified about that shortly before potentially losing power at my place. Scary stuff. Instead of stopping to live in a house that resembles a spaceship though, don't forget I also heat with miners in winter, I decided I have to do something. So I started to invest some stable coins in solar power. Every single company that does it professionally in Austria seems booked out until next year. So I started to experiment myself with both batteries and grid eye systems around the house. I have to admit, starting to nerd into these topics, I could start to feel a tingle I didn't feel in a while. We are already showing ways here to turn electricity into crypto and also turning crypto into more crypto. So looking back with power, I seem to have overlooked the base for now. Currently I'm still in the testing and experimenting phase before actually going big, but I already feel a difference. Of course I think these topics fit the channel perfectly, so I look forward to document my learning curve here and also get back into making regular content for you, which I have to admit I have been struggling with, which I want to talk about now. I'm not gonna lie, working my behind off through the bull market has burned me out more than the crashes we are experiencing right now, while at the same time some personal stuff caught up to me. Market-wise we saw a lot of froth, a lot of scam and legitimizing of centralized stuff as decentralized. Even thinking of what to make content about felt like a minefield at times. So while still being active in all areas of crypto, it felt hard to endorse the industry, as I was myself very critical of it while being fully engulfed, and no matter if mining or DeFi that is. Especially though with many DeFi protocols going bust in the fallout of the Luna crash, looking back I'm glad about having been more critical with what content I feature while myself being often more risky, because it's hard to communicate risk management through a video. I have to say I feel more positive now about the market, as harsh as it sounds. That does not mean we are already at the bottom, or that this could not be the start of a bear market, but I feel the cleaning out we just experienced might have been necessary. As always, we don't have a crystal ball. My goal is to not neglect the channels further and continue documenting the crypto journey, no matter what the market is. So I'm happy to add renewable energies to the topics of the channel. I think self-sufficiency in all regards as a goal in the long term fits the crypto lifestyle very well. And as you might have heard, thinking and working on these topics has felt good for the first time in a long while. Besides that, I never stop being active on chain and can honestly say it has saved my behind over and over. I will not stop visiting crypto events in weird places and interview people and protocols I find interesting. These videos don't get as many views as a mining video, but heck, crypto as a whole is the future in my opinion. I hope all of you are doing well. Let me know how these past few weeks have been for you. Please be safe wherever you are. I wish all the best to each and every one of you, happy mining and bye!